social problems that are rooted in the heart. All over the world today, it seems as if people are fighting for justice. Sometimes these demands are legitimate and seem to justify a calling for a reformation of the systems that have been implanted in society. But many times, this demand for social justice is just an excuse to usher in a different agenda behind what is being portrayed on the outside. You see, evil forces today are at work like never before with a mindset to set in a new world order. It has become apparent to us today that we cannot trust everything that is being presented to us as facts. Certainly, the Bible spoke of our day when it said that many would call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Now, seeing this taking place all around us today, we can literally say that the words of Jesus Christ are unfolding in front of us. The world today seems to be moving at a rapid pace in order to fact check every single thing that is published, said, or presented. Yet in this rush for truth and honesty, darkness is still abiding. Because today what may be truth for you may be an untruth to others. Why? Because it simply does not fit into their own agenda. Now it seems as if society is desiring for everyone to line up with their own agenda. But if one dare goes against their perceived truth, we become the enemy. But in the midst of darkness, there is still a flame burning which cannot be destroyed. Though this flame at times in the past seemed as if it were to be completely destroyed by the winds of false doctrine and man-made creeds, man-made hierarchies, and a false religion, yet that flame continues to burn today. That flame in this illustration is the vision of the church. You see, the church of God is well and alive today. Just like the social problems we are facing in this world today, there is also a spiritual problem in this religious world. A world of man-made denominations, which only look to cater to their own desires of leaders that desire prestige, fame, and wealth. But just like our social problems today are rooted in the hearts, so is this spiritual problem. But there is freedom from man-made denominations and man-made hierarchies and false religion. That freedom is found in a divine revelation, not a new revelation, but a divine understanding of the church of the Bible, a divine understanding of why Jesus Christ came to this world to establish his church. The social problems of today are rooted in the hearts of men and women. No politician, no government, no laws can remove what is rooted in the hearts of men when it comes to sin. Only Jesus Christ can change a man and a woman when they completely surrender to his will. With this same thing in mind, no one can remove from our hearts that which has been implanted by God himself in our understanding of God's program in these last days. Now, God's program is the church of God. And it is imperative today that each of us have a divine understanding of the church of the Bible. Not an understanding of past traditions or just of our history. We must look to the Bible today in order to find the church of the living God. Only there will we find her attributes, which will then help us to see her today. Don't look for her with a closed-minded, man-made idea of what you think she should look like today. Look for her with the scriptures and then you will see her attributes, which are holy and in full operation in the midst of confusion.